Welcome to Matt Riley Bakes. Today's bake is a real simple one. Banana, chocolate and hazelnut loaf. Got bananas, chocolate, hazelnuts in it, which I thought was pretty self-explanatory in the title, really. Really simple, all goes into one bowl, very few ingredients, bang it in, chuck it in the oven, give it an hour. Brilliant, it's delicious, you'll love it. Let's get started. So we've got 100 grams of unsalted butter going in. We're gonna add 175 grams of golden caster sugar. Now for the power tools. Okay, so that's taking a couple of minutes. Um, so that's what you're looking for, really. So next up, we're gonna crack one egg into the mix. Now mix it all together with the electric whisk. Sift half the flour into the bowl and mix. Add in the other egg now. Finally, mix the rest of the self-raising flour. Plus, one teaspoon of baking powder. Just mix it up like you did last time. So next up, I'm gonna add three overripe bananas. They're pretty brown like that. I'm gonna mash those up in a bowl. 80 grams of roughly chopped chocolate. I'm gonna bung that in a bowl with all the other ingredients. 30 grams of chopped hazelnuts. You also want one teaspoon of vanilla paste, or vanilla essence if you, got, if you haven't got vanilla paste. Give that a really good mix up. Combine all the ingredients together. Should be nice. Pretty lumpy because it's got the chocolate in it, but nice and smooth other than that. Okay, that's looking good. Right, I'm going to pop that. I've got a lined loaf tin. Put that in. I'm going to pop that in the oven now for an hour. 180 fan, 200 non fan. So that's got an hour in the oven. I'm going to probably have five cups of tea in an hour. Um, you can have as many as you want, but I wouldn't recommend going under three. Let's have a look. Okay, pop the skewer in. Yeah, coming out clean, so we're good to go. It's not a legal requirement to serve this with a cup of tea. If you don't serve it with a cup of tea, you're wrong. Cheers. That's banging.